Hello there, Paul Michael Bales here, and I'm a fan of Manchester United and I have been for many years, I've been with them f through the glory days and now these last few years of the, the bad times. And I'm also a United stand fan, meaning I like to watch Mark Goldbridge's videos, his watch-alongs, his, um, his content and uploads. I think he's quite an interesting character and I think he's done really well with that channel, making it a fan channel, an independent channel and getting everyone involved and excited about Manchester United and giving people a voice. So I'm going to use this opportunity to speak my mind and my voice about something I don't think has been touched upon enough this season, not even on the United stand. And the thing I want to talk about is Darmian. I don't see him as a United quality player. I don't see him as a very good player. I haven't rated him since he joined. I don't think he's played very well. I don't think he's even playing in his proper position. And I think he's um, taking, he's making too many mistakes and he's taking up another player, player's position who could play better and perform better and do better. Or two, if you think about it, because you've got Luke Shaw as well, who is a better player than Damien. But this video is about Blind compared to Damien. I want to give you about 16 or 17 um, reasons why Blind is better than Damien. Blind needs to start over Damien for so many reasons. Firstly, that is Blin's best position and not Damian's best, as he is a right back, not a left back, whereas Blind is a left back. Secondly, Blind is left footed, so that's an advantage already. Being a left back with a, with a left foot is better than being a, a left back with a right foot, as is Damian, because Damian's right footed. Thirdly, Blind can cross. Damian can't. We've already seen that. Blind has a sweet left foot on him. Fourthly, Blind can pass better than Damian. We've also seen that. He's got a better pass, a better eye for a pass, a more intelligent pass, a forward pass. Right. Fifthly, Blind is more composed than Damian. And composure is something we lacked on the pitch, especially in this Liverpool game where people were nervous, overexcited, a bit of composure on there would have helped everyone. And Blind could have offered that, not just for the defence, but also for the midfield. And for Martial, give him a bit of help out there, and composure. Sixthly, Blind is more intelligent. Blind comes um, from a family of footballers. His father was a footballer, professional footballer. He comes from the Ajax school. So it's all about intelligence, total football. Damian comes from Italy, which is uh, a league which values its defence and defenders and the tactics of defenders. But I don't think Damian has that intelligence or is good enough to fulfil um, that role. Also, I think Mark's mentioned it himself, Italian defenders don't come here to the Premiership and do well. Damien's Italian, whereas um, Blind is Dutch, and Dutch players do play quite well in, here in England. Van Persie, a good example. Seventhly, Blind has better positional sense and timing, and reads the game better. Again, that goes into intelligence. Eighthly, Blind can take corners. This is something that needs to be touched upon because I don't think Rooney should be taking corners. Rooney is a striker. He's good in the air. He's scored so many goals from headers, so he's needed in the box. Put him in the box. Start Blind. Get Blind taking the corners. He's left-footed, so he can swing it in. Get Rooney in there to get a header with Slatan and possibly Fellaini for the last 10 minutes. Um, ninthly, 
Blind was captain at Ajax, so was a better leader than Damian. And that's also very important. You need leaders on the field. You need leaders in games against the top teams. Again, the derby games, like against Liverpool. Damian's not a leader. He's the type of player who disappears under pressure, or makes mistakes under pressure. Not composed, not intelligent enough, not even quality, not, not hasn't even got the right quality. Um, yeah, Blind was captain at Ajax. That's a big thing, captain, captain of the the best, possibly the best team in the Dutch league. Was Dar Darmian ever the captain? I don't know, you tell me. Never heard of him until he came here. Um, tenthly, Blind is more consistent than Darmian. Not only for United, but he was also player of the season at Ajax. So he plays at a consistent level more so than Damian. And I think Damian has very very bad games where Blind has constantly good games no matter what position you play him in. Eleventhly, Blind or Blind shall I say is more versatile than Damian. So you can put him in different positions when needed in a match. You can put him at centre back or centre midfield, left midfield, defensive midfield and swap things around. This is especially handy if you are making subs or change tactics during the match. You can't do that with Damian. You can't play you can only play Damian left back or right back. And he's not gonna go right back because Valencia is another class, another level to Damian. You can't put Damian left wing, he's rubbish going forward, you can't put him centre midfield, you can't put him um centre back. If someone gets red carded, you can't really you can have to take Damian off, because so he can't play where the person who got sent off plays. Um, you can't change the tactics with him, change, change, change his role. With Blind, you can do all that. If, some, if Jones gets sent sent off during a match, Blind can sw switch from left back to centre back, and you can put someone else left back, or you can put him centre midfield, um, drop Carrick back, or you can do so much with Blind. You can't really do much with Damian. So it gives you options, options, and you can change things. Twelfthly, Blind is better at heading than Damian. They're both quite short players, but I think being more intelligent, Blind anticipates where the ball is going, so he wins headers, even against... Um, bigger opposition, as he's proved so at centre-back. Thirteenthly, Blind has proved that he's a better defender than Damian. Not only at left-back, but he has played centre-back and did well there. Would you trust putting Damian centre-back? No, you wouldn't, would you? Which proves that Blind is a better defender. Fourteenthly, Blind is better going forward than Damian. Not only can he make great forward passes, great crosses, great corners, but he can also score a goal when given the chance to, as he's proved to already this season. He took that chance with composure and slotted it in, and gave Man United at the lead when we needed the lead. We needed a goal, so he's proved he can even shoot because he's got a great left foot. And he's good going forward. Fifteenthly, Blind has played more games for United than Damian. He's played many of these big matches already and played well. Damian hasn't played any game well, including those against lower opposition. And I think that's um, very important. I think Blind has proved himself at United. Or Damian, people are still unsure about He's He's not yet proved himself to be a Manchester United player. People wouldn't mind if, if, if he got sold. Whereas if Blind got sold, they'd be a bit sad, a bit disappointed. Even if he's not in the first team, because they think he'll be a good squad player because of his versatility and his um, consistency. 
and he does well on the pitch. Sixteenthly, Blind is a fan favourite and liked much more than Damian. Which brings us back to what I just said about if Damian was sold, no one would really care. People would forget about him. Whereas if Blind was sold, they'd be um, a bit more upset. Because there's so much you can do with him and he's such an intelligent player. Seventhly, Damian is the type of player you want to sell. Whereas Blind is the type of player you want to keep. If I could sell anyone at United at the moment, it would be Damian. I think Damian is a worse worse player than Fellaini. Fellaini has his uses. I don't think Damian has any use at all. All these reasons, and there are probably more, that if you thought about it, you could think of as to why Blind should be playing ahead of Damian. What do you think? And I hope um, Mark Goldbridge um, soon or later on in the season does a show based on this question because I don't think no one's really talked about it enough and it's uh, something that needs to be addressed. It's a team game and I think Damian's the weakest link in our team. And I think also, not just about Damian, but the left back situation needs to be sorted. So we, so we need a show talking about the left back situation, talking about Damian, Blind and Shaw. And if we need a new left back to be brought in or if we're OK with what we got or if we need to sell Damian or if we stop using Damian or if we need to put Blind in there or put um, Luke Shaw in there, I think it needs to be addressed. The fans need to speak about it so that um, Mourinho can hear your voice and your opinion and um, because your, opi your opinion is important. If no one speaks about um, their problems or their opinions then nothing gets done, nothing gets changed. Things will stay the same and I don't think we need things to stay the same and this left back situation that needs to be sorted, it needs to be dealt with, it needs to be talked about and acted upon. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm just a um, United stand fan, a United, Manchester United fan, and I wanted to speak my opinion on this um, topic because I don't think it's being addressed and it needs to be addressed. And I want to see Manchester United playing well, playing better, and doing better. And I don't think um, Damian is the solution for the present or for the future. Tell, tell us what you think.